Hey everyone, TechnoMentor here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix visual voicemail. It's currently unavailable on your iPhone. So if you go on your phone app and go to your voicemail, you might see this option where it says currently unavailable. So these are steps you want to go ahead and follow to fix it. Very first thing when it comes to visual voicemail is that you need a good internet connection either through Wi-Fi or cellular data. You want to make sure cellular data is turned on. If you haven't turned it on, you're going to go into your setting and then click on cellular and then turn it on from there if you don't have it turned on. Now the very first thing after that is you're going to put your phone on airplane mode. So let's go ahead and just tap on airplane mode just like that briefly and that turned off and that does a quick network refresh of your network connection settings. Now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is go into your setting this time. Now starting from the main settings you can go all the way down to apps and then look for the phone app itself. So we're going to go to the phone app, right? Here we're going to get all the settings for the phone app and then we're going to go down here it says live voicemail. We want to go ahead and turn that on. Now there might be additional setting for you to turn on which is be Wi-Fi calling. I don't have it here but if you have Wi-Fi calling listed here under the calls you want to also turn that setting on as well. Now after you have done that you're going to go back to the phone app and see if it fixes. If it doesn't you're going to click on where it says call voicemail and you're going to call that and then try to go ahead and change your voicemail password if you can. Now you can also do that sometimes from here. You might also see an option that says change voicemail password directly from the phone app setting depending on your carrier. You can also change it from there but you want to try to change the password for the voicemail. Now after you have done that and it's still not working you want to go back to the main settings here. This time we're going to go to general and then click on about and wait on this page to see if there's a carrier update. A carrier update will pop up if there is one and you'll just click on update. Now if it doesn't, don't worry, we'll move on to the next troubleshooting step which is going to be doing this. We're going to quickly press and release the volume up, volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black, the Apple logo reappears. So I'm going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down and then I hold on to the side button just like that. And just keep on holding it and you're gonna hold it as you can see I'm holding it and wait for the Apple logo to appear on the screen before I let go of that side button that I was holding down and that's basically forcing the phone software to shut down and then reload the code so if it's a software related issue it's gonna go ahead and fix it for you so you're gonna wait here Again, this will not delete any of your data like photos, videos, apps, everything still be on your phone. Now after you have done that and it's still not working, it's time to go into your setting again. And then this time we're going to go to general and then scroll down to transfer reset iPhone. We're going to tap on that and then we're going to click on reset and we're going to want to do a network reset. Basically a network reset after you put the phone's passcode will reset network related settings but again, will not delete any of your data. Should take about a minute or so to do. So you want to go ahead and do a network reset. Now the final and the last thing to troubleshoot if you're still having issues again is going to your settings and then general and then software update and updating your phone to the latest software. So if it's a software related issue uh, that may be causing any issues, it'll go ahead and fix it. And if all of this have not worked for you, the last and the very final thing you want to do is contact your carrier to see if there's something they need to enable on their end. Sometimes because of the way voicemails are, they might be uh, having that feature turned off. So you just need them to turn it on and you can kind of troubleshoot with them to make sure your account is in good shape to get those visual voicemail. So hopefully after all following these, your visual voicemail is fixed. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.